Okay, so I'm going to do an audio recording of the interference picked up on 2G. This is an iPhone 4S, and it's on Vodafone's network, and they've shut down 3G quite recently, so it only gets 2G signals now, and it's not a 4G phone. And when I call it, my Razer Kraken headset, this is the old X model, the microphone picks up a lot of interference, which I think is pretty interesting. Um, so I'm going to set this mic up, and I'll switch the mic over on Premiere, so you can hear the interference this picks up. Uh, you're using my camera's mic right now, so um, I'm going to start the recording on the mic. And you should now hear the audio of this headset mic. And before I record, before I call the phone, this is what it sounds without any call. I think it's picking up a bit of interference already. I'm looking on the Audacity graph, and there's a bunch of stuff going on. So that's really interesting. So yeah, I think the um, I think the headphones are picking stuff up even when nothing's happening. So uh, let's give it a phone, or we'll see what happens. The phone is on silent, so uh, it shouldn't ring. That is pretty interesting, the fact that the the graph slowly gets quieter. Um, okay, we're going to do a call and then I'll actually answer and we'll see how the uh, how the thing picks up. I won't say anything, I'll just mute on both ends and maybe I'll do a click sound or something and we'll see what happens. Okay, I think that'll do. But yeah, the waveform is definitely freaking out a bit. So let's answer the phone call. So I've muted both ends, and I don't think it's picking much interference up, so I'll do a beep, hold on. I press zero on the keypad, and I don't think anything happens. So that's quite interesting. Yeah, there's not much more interference. What if I cancel it? Oh, a little bit. Yeah, there was a bit there. Huh. I'll do it again and I won't talk so you can hear exactly what comes through. I'll send the same message again, just hello. A website probably isn't going to load on this because there is no, uh, there's no data, so I'll do it on my actual phone. Hopefully the mic still picks up. Okay, so I'm changing my phone's network band to 2G and we're in 2G only so give it a second it should be 2G only but it's obviously 2G so it's slow as hell there we are right so we'll put the phone here as it was earlier let's do YouTube because that'll be quite a big to load web page on 2G So that's quite interesting, it's, it's still picking up interference, but the interference is a lot quieter. So I'm assuming this phone has like a quieter modem or something. I'm not really sure how it properly works, but it's a lot quieter, the interference. I can see it on the, on the um, waveform. It's obviously really slow because 2G is old. But yeah, with the iPhone 4S, it was louder than that. Let's a video. The waveforms are definitely a bit higher, but still not as loud as the iPhone. And then I'm surprised it's even loading a video on 2G at all, really. Well, there we are, that's the conclusion. 2G uh, on calls and texts on an old iPhone is very loud. And when you load a website on a newer phone, well, this is a S23, um, 
it loads very slowly and you get a lot of in well, a little bit of interference on your microphone. So I hope you enjoyed this. I thought this was pretty interesting. I know it's very random but um yeah, I just thought this was quite cool.